Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today is July 1st. That has two really important meanings. First off, it's Canada Day. Happy Canada Day, my fellow Canadians. And second, it is the day where Unreal Engine dropped all of their free stuff for the month. So Epic Games, at the beginning of every month, gives away five to six pieces of content from the Unreal Engine marketplace. And when I say giveaway, you have to buy it in air quotes, but it costs you zero money. But if you don't purchase it before the end of the month, you don't get it for free. But there are a couple of premium permanently free items on this list as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in, take a look at this month's free stuff, then I will show you how to go about getting it using the Epic Game Launcher if you do not already know. All right, so first off, this is the Unreal Engine blog. It's got all the content we are going to be talking about it. I will be linking this in the linked article below, but most importantly, we are going to look at each entry in the Unreal Engine store. The first one here is custom movement. This one is a custom movement blend um, blueprint for beginners in Unreal Engine. It enables you to do things like um, have movement climbing uh, of, over various different surfaces. It is implemented as a blueprint, so it's custom movements, ladders, and climbing, uh, supports networking. Uh, you got various different examples showing it in action. The, the details don't have a lot uh, going on here, but if you need to add, you know, vertical movement into your game, uh, this will enable you to do that. Next up, we have Explosions Builder. Explosions, small, medium, or apocalyptic. Put the bang in your project. Use the pre-made effects or create your own lookup with this high resolution pack. Designed as a modular effect library, easily combine and modify to create new custom explosions. Now, I want to point something out before we move on here. You'll notice it says supported platform and windows only. That makes zero sense. So a lot of times take this particular section with a giant grain of salt. So what is included in this explosion pack? Well, if we scroll on down here, we will see it consists of 10 pre-made full explosion particle effects, 57 additional builder component particle effects, 54 textures, two vector fields, 16 meshes, 47 materials, and one level demonstrating how to use it all. So pretty straightforward. It is basically an explosion pack. Uh, it was made with Cascade, not Niagara, by the way. Uh, all right, so that is it. Next up, we have the Fantasy and Medieval Architecture Kit. This is what I used in the image to start this video. Uh, this is an asset kit for fantasy and medieval architecture and environment creation. Contains assets necessary to bring to life fantasy and organic environments, including architectural pieces, props, grass, uh, decals, blend materials, etc. This also is the asset I vote most likely to be seen in an asset flip in 2019. Uh, you heard it here. So anyways, what is in this? Well, it is basically a giant resource kit for creating medieval scenes. So you've got all the various different building blocks you would use to in modular building kits. You put them together, you got yourself a medieval village. Uh, in terms of raw assets, this one did not make a lot of sense because it's got vertex count between 7,000 and 50. Anyways, we've got 139 meshes, 39 materials, material instances, 72 textures. Pretty straightforward. So this is this kit for building uh, medieval villages. So it looks like a pretty high quality work, however. Next up, we have the first person story adventure template. This one is basically the logic you need to create a walking simulator. Something like uh, Gone Home, or I don't know, I don't play them, but there's a hundred million of them these days. So it is a set of blueprints for doing things such as universal interaction system, object inspection, different letter blueprints, collectible journal entries, entries show up in player's journal, uh, inventory system for objects and letters, doors, drawers, um, draw, uh, drawers and cupboards, sorry, I can't speak all of a sudden. Doors can be unlocked by one click in the details panel, collect key with the same ID to open. Uh, simple to adapt drawer and uh, cupboard blueprints, add your mesh in as many drawers or doors as you'd like. Collectible flashlight, simple save and load system, integrated uh, example sounds. Uh, so you got 75 blueprints, seven UI widgets in this kit. So if you are going to be making yourself a walking simulator and you need the code done for it in blueprints, that's essentially what this kit is providing. Next up, we got a uh, real liquid X, liquid material and blueprint, a realistic liquid simulation effect for props, weapons, drinks, and potions, highly customizable. Uh, so you can see here, Liquid X is an incredibly versatile and can be used anywhere you'd like to bring a little motion to your scene or asset. Put it in a beaker or test tube in your lab scene. Put it in a biological grenade in your FPS or perhaps a poison-filled sword or dagger. Put it in a healing potion uh, vial in your RPG or just make it a wine glass at your bar. Um, in terms of details, it is one blueprint, uh, eight sample textures, one master material, three ex uh, example instances. Uh, again, one blueprint, three simple meshes. So pretty straightforward. It is a liquid simulator, essentially. Uh, and then now we're going to get into the free forever. So there is no time limit to take advantage of these. You literally just um, 
uh, buy it anytime and it's yours and now available forever. So again, this is in the permanent collection. Um, you'll see here, easily add dynamic behavior to any grass mesh. Use it with Unreal uh, Engine foliage tool or spawn it dynamically in game. Shockwaves bending, deforming, removing, and more dynamic effects included uh, by default. So it is a grass uh, simulation system, essentially. And it is made up of, who knows? It's 100% blueprints. Full feature list is available there. All right, so I don't really care that much. It's pretty straightforward. It is a grass simulation system. And you've got all the time in the world because it is, once again, free forever. Ooh, light. What's that? Are you basically giving away a demo version here? That's, unre that's unreal. <laughs> Anyways, the other free thing that we've got here is another modular building kit. Uh, this one is the modular building set. Uh, a modular building set that can be used to create hundreds of unique buildings. This one, again, is going to be heavily asset flipped. So do keep an eye out for these. But you've got things in here like doors, windows, uh, pillars, columns, walls, etc. that you can put together to create any kind of level or scene that you wish. And it actually looks to get some pretty sweet results out of it. Um, so that is the modular building set. Uh, it consists of demo scene, uh, first floor interior storefronts with LODs, 137 static meshes, 100 materials, 33 decal meshes uh, from rust, grunge, and even bird poop, uh, store signs, Chinese signs, dirt, and rubble piles, uh, optimized assets with an average of 140 triangles, uh, assets range between 2 and 1,840 triangles, uh, average texture size is 2K, uh, smaller decals at 256 or 512 materials generally contain a normal map, diffuse map, roughness map, and specular map. And that, my friends, is the end of this month's content. Now, it's weird again that they have that. I wonder if that is actually meant to. I wonder if it's here light here. Yeah, it is the light version. Mm, that's a little, a little different. They normally don't do a, a demo version or anything along those lines. But anyways, that is this month's free content. I normally offer at this point, if there's something there that you're interested in and want me to check out, I will do so. But this week is, it's really straightforward, to be honest. Other than the um, walking simulator blueprint kit, there's nothing there that's really not self-explanatory, in my opinion. So you can, you know, you can see from the asset kit what you're getting. The climbing kit, very focused and what it does grass simulator light version so if there is something there that you're really interested in me checking out but like i said i think this month's pretty straightforward all right so finally that is the new content let's do a quick look at how you actually go about getting this stuff it has changed for the better for the most part it used to be you had to search for these things and find them now it's pretty straightforward uh, open up the epic game launcher go to unreal engine and then in the Unreal Engine, switch over to the Marketplace tab like so. And the nice thing that you will notice now is they have free for the month category now, which is much nicer than it used to be. Or you can even drop down here in the free list and there is free for this month. There's also the permanently free. So those things that they've been adding each month that are now free forever, they have all been organized into one spot, which makes life much nicer for actually tracking down this stuff than it used to be. But anyways, let's go to the free for the month. This is the stuff that you have to buy for this month. And it's pretty straightforward. Just add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, and add to cart. And then you just go ahead and check out and do the purchase process. Now, I don't know if there's any secret information. If I open up the shopping cart, I don't want my you know login details or, or address or whatever else to be showing up. So I'm not going to bother showing that part. Actually, just a sec. I will pause. Be right back. Yeah, so it actually, it shows the last couple digits of my visa on account and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to bother showing you that process, but basically you just click checkout, you go to the checkout store, and you commit your purchase. It costs zero dollars, there's nothing really, no strings attached or anything like that. Uh, but obviously it's not something that I want to showcase uh, on this channel. But there you can see uh, how easy it is to get this stuff. I Again, it's two seconds after you click your cart, add it in, and you're good to go. So if you've been set up for doing uh, purchases or you've already got your Unreal Store account, it, it is a really straightforward and clean process. Now, I don't know if you need to hook a credit card up with your account to make things work. Um, I, I actually only have my credit card hooked up because of way back in the first days, you actually had to buy Unreal Engine of $20 a month or something like that. Um, so I've never bought anything on their store. But anyways, that is uh, the process. That is how you get things. It is nice to see that they've added this whole uh, ability to get in here and drill down in the stuff that they've released. And it's also nice to be able to easily come in and get all of the stuff that they've been releasing on a monthly basis. Oh, look at this. There is another light version. Yeah, I guess they have done that in the pack. Anyways, um, 
yeah, that's it. That is this month's uh, free collection over on uh, Unreal Engine. If you're an Unreal Engine developer, it, it's nice. You know, even if there's only like one or two items you might use ever, throw them in your cart. Who knows? One day you may need that. Maybe one day you're going to be doing a... Um, a walking simulator that you never anticipated and you you know, hey, here you go. You got a blueprint for it or you need to, to you know, uh, drop in a couple of meshes for a medieval village. You are good to go. And by the way, this is a question that comes up every single time and I always answer it the exact same way. I am not a lawyer. I cannot tell you for certainly, but is this content usable outside of Unreal Engine? And the answer seems to be yes. As long as Epic Games did not provide it, you can use it however you wish. Uh, but again, not a lawyer, so don't quote me on that. Okay, so that is July free content. I'm curious, once again, I ask this question every single month, what do you think? Is this starting to kind of edge you over to maybe checking out Unreal Engine if you don't already? Or if you're an Unreal Engine developer, have you actually been using any of this stuff or are you just hoarding it because it's free like I do? I'd be interested to know. Comments down below. And once again, happy Canada Day in a few days. Uh, happy 4th of July. Hopefully I'll get a video up in between then and now. It's pretty much the doldrums time. So things are getting a little slower. Very little news, that kind of stuff happening. And uh, the sun's making me a bit late easy too. So probably not going to be a huge amount coming in July, but hopefully there's some interesting stuff. So do stay tuned. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.